Hey Aries, welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you this week and what energy are they bringing with them? Yes, let's jump in. This is for my Aries. This is for my Aries. Let's go ahead and see if we can get their perception of you. Their perception, what I mean by perception is their thoughts and their feelings, their view of you. Yes. How are they seeing you? Discreet communications, secret text, deleting evidence, hiding and denying the truth. Ooh. Is that you? <laughs> That's the perception of you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, just holding things in secret. And they, oh, coward. Unable to face issue head on. Can't look at you in the face. Uh, failing to be the bigger person. Mm. Let's get your view of them. Your thoughts and perception of them. Ew. Yes. So how am I already perceiving this person's energy pop? Casual counterparts. Mm. Stringing along. Friends with benefits. Inappropriate conversation with others. So your perception of them is it's just a string along. Friends with benefits. What else is your perception of them? Jokester. Mmm. Ooh, silly, playful, and immature. Likes to be center of attention. Does not take anything serious. Does not take anything serious. But yet, you get, we got, you know, your person's perception up here of you of you're not getting serious and real with them. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. Private's on the bottom of the deck. Reserved. Self-restraint, slow to reveal true self, holds back information. So that's our combined energy on the bottom of the deck, guys. Combined energy. Let's see this person's desire towards you this week. What is their desire this week towards Aries? What's going on with this person? We've got Nine of Swords. Ooh, they are stressed out. Mm-hmm. Ace of Pentacles and a Death Card. A death Card. Tell me about the Death Card. Tell me about the Death Card. Plans didn't work out. Stagnation. Mm -hmm. Empress Energy is amplifying. Plans are not working out. So the person that did have a plan, guys, mm -hmm. the Ace of Pentacles is they had something they were wanting from you this week. But it's not going to work out the way they had hoped. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and the fact that Death card's coming in and it's sandwiched with that Nine of Swords, it is showing what they wanted is not in alignment. The plan, the plan <laughs> did not work out. Uh, so, is that a previous plan or a plan they have for this week? I'm not, not sure. So, I mean, it's a disappointment. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah. So, things have changed. Uh, and more likely on your energy because of stagnation on our Empress. She's sitting down. Mm-hmm. She's sitting down. Mm-hmm. Not moving. Actions this week. Lover's card. Obsessing over, over something this week, guys. But it is the lovers, the attraction. Ooh, wanting things to move faster. Mm -hmm. And they sneaky about it. What are they being sneaky about here? Knight of Cups. Pisces energy with a King of Pentacles. So they are most definitely sweet talking this week towards you. Because mm -hmm. they're not wanting to lose you. And like I said, there's some kind of plan that was just, yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, and their sneakiness is everything they're doing has a motive behind it. Part of a seven of swords uh, can also be when it's um, we're standing up in the challenge of that energy. It's like I'm taking back what I feel like was taken from me. 
kind of energy. So we we definitely got somebody coming at us, more than likely communicating, wanting to communicate. This can be long distance communication, but it could also insinuate they're traveling to see us face to face because they are obsessing on something uh, with the lover's card. Ooh, and the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is trying to fix and work through something. That's a devotion and dedication, but it also amplifies uh, the lover's card of, I'm obsessing on this. I can't get over it. I'm not giving up yet. Plans were ruined before, but I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. See what the universe wants to bring out for you when it comes to this person and their energy. We've got travel. Mm, there's a strong desire to wander or travel and explore the world. It's time you do. Expect to travel soon. Like I said, this could actually be them traveling. Mm -hmm. And the word explore uh, amplified on the card for me. So the, the person actually might be trying to gather up <laughs> what information yeah sneaky behavior the seven of swords energy is let me find proof of something mm -hmm. what else divine timing have patience as nothing can occur until the conditions are completely ready trust in divine timing with blessings a major life change will bring you great blessings prepare for the unexpected this is a magical moment Oh, oh, uh, even though the person, like I said, um, may be, you know, sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Um, I'm not sure they want us to know where they're traveling to, but it's going to be close to you. Yes, it's going to turn out well. There's a blessing hidden in this abundance on the bottom of the deck. Be open to receiving blessings. And abundance from the universe. Ooh, so the universe is conspiring as something uh, through a through stress, guys. Through stress, through friction energy with this person, that's actually going to turn out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else will come out here. Let's see some more of the energies. What is this romance angel oracles? I haven't used this one in a while. Let's see what it wants to say about this connection with this person. It's for my Aries. My Aries pop. Oh, we've got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Codependencies. You may feel like someone is being, you know, a little too clingy. Or you may be afraid of having, you know, getting attached. Let's put it that way to this person. You deserve love. You are lovable. Oh, and we've got flirt on the bottom of the deck. So the undercurrent energy is we're definitely going to be our... What does it say? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. By the end of the week, whatever transpires, like I said, the universe is, trying, you know, doing something. Uh, it's going to bring a lightheartedness to the connection. Let's see what else will come out. We've got memories. If someone is walking down memory lane at this time. It's okay to rem reminisce about your past by looking at old photos or messages. Is there anything else on this energy in Aries connection? Getting two more. Final shot. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. Yeah, the person, like I said, final shot. I want to take back. I, I don't want to. Something was ruined before, guys. Like I said, their plans were ruined, whether we knew it or not. Annoyance. You or your partner may, may be annoyed right now. Give each other space to cool off to avoid more arguments. Ooh. Aries, I hope that was helpful. Guys, y'all have a beautiful week. Stay blessed. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading. Let's see whose energy is coming at you this week. What are they bringing in? Yes. What kind of energy are they bringing towards you? This is for my Taurus and their person. Let's go ahead and look at their perception of you this week. How are they viewing my Taurus this week? Fearful? Afraid of consequences? Seeking a safer opportunity? Risk aversion? Oh. So they got you a little bit nervous about something. And then we got casual counterparts. A string, a string and alone. Friends with benefits. Inappropriate conversations with others. Oh. Their perception of you is that their perception of 
maybe friends will benefit. I don't want to commit. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and pick up your energy, your perception mm -hmm. of them. And when I say perception, guys, that is your thoughts, your feelings about the person or your opinion. Oh, pop. We've got memory loss, pretending to forget the details, breaking past the promises, choosing to hide it, hide the facts. Ow, oh, it may be someone we've already dealt with before because they, they just choose to remember what they want and forget what they don't want to remember. <laughs> Maybe in a little bit of denial. Ow, or either the old <laughs> got some some senile stuff going on, guys. And you also view them as a jokester, silly, playful, and immature. Likes to be center of attention, does not take anything serious. Does not take anything serious. So no wonder they, they got you as well, you know, I'm keeping you at arm's length. I'm not risking it with you bottom of the deck we've got no intentions wasting others time no plan of action for future no strategy or end goal so the bottom of the deck is our combined energy you have no <laughs> strategy or end goal you have no motive <laughs> yeah uh and this person they may try to pretend they've got a plan action for the future uh, when they really don't because that's combined energy right there let's go ahead and pull the gilded tarot let's see the person's desires towards you this week what it is they are desiring from my Taurus pop we've got a two pentacles oh what else stagnant energy on our um, empress energy and Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. So this week they are coming in. They're they're having some issues. They're a little bit off balance on the tangible resource kind of things. Um, trying to juggle things. But they know the energy with you is stagnant. But they're hoping it won't be. Because they're hoping to play on your heart. Actions are taken towards my Taurus this week. Ace of Wands, they on fire. Two of Cups, let me convince you we're perfect for each other and I've been so stressed out. Ow, ow, needless stress, anxiety. Six of Wands, is they definitely coming in with something in mind to get something. And more than likely, it's, you know, either the emotional support that they need. And for some of us, it could be, you know, can you give me a loan? <laughs> Money, something something tangible um, but you know your time and energy is also tangible things that you know is m worth more than money but the person is coming in with their actions of i think we're perfect together we work better together my life's better with you that kind of thing uh with the ace of wands that that is ambition goals intuition but it's uh, it can also be you know sexual fire towards you des sexual desires and fire towards you so that's what they're coming in with and, the, and they're going to uh, be uh, stressed out let's put it that way stressed out uh -huh. six of wands under that that is pay attention to me please mm -hmm. spotlight energy uh, Leo energy on that I'll say so yeah and we did pick up a cancer energy here mm -hmm with that queen but this uh, i think i really i'm reading it more as uh, they're they're hoping to play on your heart the feminine side of of your energy the emotional side of you of please <laughs> that kind of thing let's see what the universe wants to bring out for you when it comes to dealing with this energy this week any advice for dealing with this person and their energy this week for my taurus any advice? We've got something on the bottom, but I always want to get the full shuffled, too. Mm -mm. Empowerment. Give yourself permission to practice your power. You're more powerful than you realize. Mm -hmm. And answers. If you've been confused about a situation or a person, rest assured, 
Now, you get the answers you seek. You will get the answers you seek. Bottom line of that, happiness, positive energy is flowing around you and within you. Stay optimistic. There's a lot of good coming your way. Don't forget that, guys. A lot of good coming your way. It's coming in on the bottom of the deck. It's just telling you stay very optimistic. If you had any doubts or curiosity about the person, um, you're getting the answers this week. You'll see it clearly. Uh -huh. You'll see them clearly. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm going to pull um, Oracle cards. This is Romance Angel Oracles. When it comes to Taurus's connection with this person, what does the deck want to throw out here? We're getting two. We've got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And... Make the effort. Great love is worth of taking the steps you're guided to take. Mm -hmm. Make the effort. What's on the bottom of the deck? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Mm -hmm. Just with this one being on the bottom of the deck, it does tell me at one time we really felt like this person, you know, we were clicked through. Whether it's a romantic connection or not a romantic connection, we felt like it was soul connected. Uh, to the person because it's on the bottom of the deck but like I said there's stuff that's happened <laughs> yes let's pull our Hollywood romance stars black Hollywood romance stars Ooh, I love this deck guys y'all know it it's a feel good deck every time I put my hands on it mm -hmm. for Taurus when it comes to this connection is a vibe Enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other. Mm -hmm. No expectations or demands. Uh, but if the person is coming in trying to get something from you, it's going to ruin the vibe. <laughs> yeah. And you got to slow down. Just because you want something so bad doesn't mean we have to rush into it. Take a moment to talk with your partner or self to reflect on what is best. Slow things down, but yeah, if it's a high vibe, if they stay high vibe and, you know, lift you up, feels good, yeah, go with it. But the minute that they come in with the give, give, give to me, let me siphon off of you, your energy, you might want to back up and slow down. Taurus, I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Gemini's. Welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you this week and what energy they're bringing in with them. <laughs> yes, for my Geminis, for my Geminis. Mm. Ooh, let's get the perception of you. And when I say perception, that is their thoughts and their feelings. Uh -huh. Their opinion, <laughs> thoughts, feelings. Uh -huh. or, oh, they feel like you or you're holding grudges. Resentment from past, unresolved past issues, bitter feelings. You you standing around with some bitter feelings. You like you, mm. why would they want to approach you when you're like that, guys? <laughs> Don't know. Let's see what else they're perceiving. Options. Not ready to settle down. Commitment phobe. Indecisive. Hmm. So, they got you in a toss-up about something, yeah, indecisive about, and evidently, you've got a good reason. If they're not paying attention, they know you're in this something from the past. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. Geminis, <laughs> let's get your, your perception of this person. Let's get your thoughts and feelings, your opinion. What have opinion did you form from your thoughts and feelings on this person? They are jokes, though. They a jokester. You'd be like, you mm -mm. silly, playful, and immature. Likes to be center of attention. Does not take anything serious. Mm -hmm. Does not take anything serious. And then what else? Guarded, protecting oneself, cautious and reluctant, pushing away unknowingly. Ow! They a jokester. They've done things that's pushed you away. They've behaved. They've said things. They put off some energy towards you. That really, you know, is is pushed away, pushed you further and further apart. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you see the person as being guarded as much as you guard yourself against them. 
if their perception is right. Bottom of the deck, what do we got? Oh, gossip, spread of rumors, no privacy, talk around town. That's combined energy on the bottom of the deck. The one thing that we have combined when it comes to this connection, this person is we, you know, we, we probably talk about each other to other people like our best friend. You know what this a hole did <laughs> the kind of thing that kind of thing so that's one thing that we both have in in in, in our energy right now but it may also be what's getting on your nerves spread of rumors no, the no privacy because you got the person as a jokester they don't take anything serious it's, it's almost like turning i get the sense of they don't know when the hell to shut up <laughs> not not divulge so much guys oh wrong deck let's get the gilded tarot out here let's find out their desires towards you this week what are they desiring from my gemini's their desires from my gemini's oh we got a five of cups i'm feeling left out in the colds i've got some regrets i want you to hear my apology yes ace of pentacles can we start over and patience, can you forgive me? Will you forgive me? Mm -hmm. Actions towards you. Actions towards my Gemini's pop. We've got a seven of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Trying to fix what we may have overdone. <laughs> yes. And a six of swords. Six of swords is move away from a storm. We definitely got them trying to want to mend things, fix things with us. But also with the six of swords, that may actually have them traveling towards us. For some of us, that's like traveling, coming to see us face to face. And then we've got a page of swords. They're attempting it. Yes, the curiosity. Let's talk. Uh, with a page of swords, that is, they've not really formulated in their head exactly what they're going to say, but they know they're going to say something. They're going to attempt it. Yes, they are. So this week, we do have someone coming at us attempting to, can we work through this? Can we fix this? Can, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I come in from the cold now? Kind of energy. Chariot is on the bottom of the deck. So that is a battle and persistent, being persistent with something and trying to not pull so far apart from each other. But can we get it back in line together? Can we come back together here? Mm. So you definitely got somebody trying to make up to you this week. Mm -hmm. Let's get the advice from the universe when it comes to this person but we're we're all also open guys to angels divine your higher self y'all take it as you will but just as I, you know it's easier to say universe advice for my gemini's when it comes to this energy is there anything you want to point out yes we've got stop the conditions are not safe to continue on this path allow the universe to right any imbalance uh, don't take any actions and commit to anything uh, and if you don't want to talk to the person, don't talk to the person. <laughs> yeah, there, there may be opportunity going forward, but uh, that sort of insinuates to me there's some heavy energy on you and it's just like, wait, wait, don't take any action. <laughs> inner child coming out, connect with your inner child and listen to what your child self has to say as you move forward on your journey. Oh, the inner child has got you doing shadow work, guys. Why am I triggered? Why has this person got me in flip-flop mode with them and, and triggered me so badly? Mm -hmm. What else? Dreams. Oh, okay, guys. Pay attention to your dreams. They are providing rich insights into the issues that are playing on your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Past inner child it has more to do with than just this person unless this person is your parent uh -huh. <laughs> or someone from your past that was you know um an adult figure to you because inner child is going to bring up stuff from the depths of you and it's telling you stop if you don't want to talk to the person if you're not ready to talk to the person you ain't got nothing nice to say don't talk to them don't engage it Mm -mm. But they are coming at you with talk, talk, talk. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we've got treasure. An unexpected windfall will soon be yours. You will feel you have it all. A very auspicious time. A blessing on the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. 
you'll find a blessing in it. But right now, it seems to be our shadow subconscious trigger is uh, covering up. Where, where's the blessing? Mm -hmm. Where's the blessing in this? What was the point of this? Why was this brought into my life? That kind of thing. So, yeah, qu question. And like I said, best advice, if you're standing in bitter energies, don't want to deal with a person, don't deal with a person. If you ain't got nothing good to say, positive to say, blessing to put upon someone, don't do anything. Because that creates karmic will. Yes, let's do our romance angel oracles. Let's see the energies in this connection for my Gemini's. Energy is predominant energy. We've got it. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive highest energy of all. Oh, learning that it's safe to love. Am I safe? Is it? Because we got you in this, this hardcore energy from their perspective. We also got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We are attracted to the person. Uh, and if their perception of you is right, they triggered you. You can't sit and say, it doesn't matter. They don't matter to me. I don't care because they triggered you and you do deep down, but you need to know why it triggered you. Bottom of the deck, we got a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, whether it's a romantic partner, a friend, whatever. It could be a family. I don't know. Um, we do feel connected from a unseen energetic level with the person. So, yeah. Let's pull our Hollywood romance stars. I love this deck, guys. Yes, I do. Helpful for my Geminis this week with this connection, this energy. We've got warm embrace. Let yourself enjoy your partner's loving arms around your body. Their touch ignites a flame within you. Is that a trigger? I don't know. But you also got to explore. Mm -hmm. Take a ride. And explore new scenery with each other's, um, with, explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts. Explore deeper into each other's inner thoughts. It's up to you whether you not are able to actually come into this energy with this person this week, guys. Uh, so you take that as you will. For some of us, we'd be like, okay, I, I, I'm going to listen to what they got to say. But explore the inner thoughts, uh, open communications, that kind of thing. Bottom of the deck, we do have a reconciliation going on. Be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out. Yeah. Gemini's, I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Cancers. Welcome to your reading. Let's see whose energy is coming in towards you. Yes. Guys, why did all of a sudden I can't talk? <laughs> yeah. Let's see the energies, the person and the energies they're bringing towards you. Ooh, my cancers. My cancers. Let's get the person's uh, perception of you. When I say perception, I'm talking about their thoughts and their feelings and the opinions that have been formed from those thoughts and opinions. How are they viewing you? They think you a lost soul. Unsure of the way forward, inner conflict and mental turmoil, feeling disconnected to self. Oh, why? Why? Why is their perception of you this way? Let's let's keep going. I want to see what else is uh, going to come out. What else? We're going to get two more. Oh, because you're private, reserved, and self-restrained. Slow to reveal true self holds back information, but you're suspicious also. <laughs> Motives are not clear. Puzzle pieces are not fitting together. Dishonest hidden activity. Uh, that dishonest hidden activity, not maybe, I don't know. You take it, guys, if it's true for you. Because she's got a magnifying glass. She's looking for something. But it bothers me that this person has got a perception of you as a lost soul, when in actuality, they're just not able to read your energy. They're just making assumptions about you. And um, for me, my cancers are never a lost soul. A lone soul? Yeah. A lone soul, like the lone wolf. Yeah, but not lost. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, I don't think they can read your energy right, but the, they're making assumptions that you're going through this. Uh, when in actuality, I, I got you 
engaging their energy over here <laughs> yeah just from their perception if that's right over here you're gauging their energy you're finding out what you need to find out let's go ahead and look at you your perception of this person and their energy let's see your perception what's underneath where's where's your thoughts your feelings and what is the opinion about this person that's been formed I'm not feeling them hang on guys pop that one deception lies and trickery creating confusion and emotional hurt fraudulent activity or behavior mm -hmm. so we we automatically are picking up red flags on this person's energy and we see them as a joke stuff this one's coming out a lot <laughs> Silly, playful, and immature, likes to be center of attention, does not take anything serious. Does not take anything serious. Immature really popped off of the card for me on that one. Bottom of the deck, we've got broken promises, failing to deliver, not meeting said expectations, and leading other on leading others on that's our combined energy guys uh on the bottom of the deck that's something that we're both dealing with on on you know the deeper side of our thoughts our you know energy when when we're dealing with this person is either that's a worry or it's been past experience uh with the person or someone else that's got us on alert both of our energies going off on that one so yeah Let's go ahead and pull the Guild of Tarot and find the person's desires towards my cancers this week. What are they desiring from my cancers? From. <laughs> Listen to that, guys. From. What do they want from you? Oh, they're stressed out. Uh -huh. Is it needless stress and anxiety? Nine of Pentacles. They're moving slow. They're moving slow. What came out, guys? Nine of Wands, what do I have control over? What do I not have control over? What am I doing wrong? Energy, battle weary. Uh, what else is their desire? What are they wanting from oh, my cancers? The Moon card. Oh, the Moon card is to reveal things that are hidden, that are kept hidden deep. The person is that they're, they're stressed out because things are moving slow. We've got that slow moving uh, Virgo Knight of Pentacles energy. Anytime we get a Virgo energy, you know, that can have us when, you know, introspection, uh, not sharing thoughts and feelings for a minute until we're clear about something. But the person is wanting to know what's really going on with your energy, what, you know, what's going on. Got a Six of Pentacles on here. They're hoping you're going to be charitable with that one. Uh huh. So think, uh, talk, talk, spend time with me. Um, tell me, tell me what's bothering you kind of energy actions towards my cancers this week what are the actions they are going to probably take towards my cancers ah six of pentacles yeah uh given time and energy five of cups five of cups card of grieving but it's also regrets and and like i said what are they wanting from you they want to sort through what's going on here are you grieving have you been hurt lately? They're trying to figure it out. Because uh -huh. they do see you as in this energy of a lost soul. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. I'll, can we talk? They're going, yeah. Oh, what's happened? What's happened to you in the past when it comes to love? Mm -hmm. Oh, two swords. Okay. On the bottom of the deck. They can't make it. They can't make a decision. What, what? What to say, what to do. Because when we when we got their actions towards you, they're charitable. I'm open to listen. I'm open to talk if you want to talk. But more of a listen. Because they want you to open up. But they do see you as grieving. Or they're wondering, are you grieving something? Um, but they're throwing out that wheel of fortune have, have you went through drastic changes or something that's caused this loss of them to feel like you you feel like you're lost uh are your emotions with an ace of cups that's new love somebody extending a cup toward us but it's also a, a question on the deeper side of it is is your emotions uh appropriate for the circumstances or situation uh, hopefully you know what I mean. Uh, are you 
are they appropriate in proportion? There's a better word. Are they weighed in proportion? Your emotions, what you're feeling. Um, are you, and it would be actually coming across as, do you always feel this bad? <laughs> do you, are you always depressed? Kind of energy. What's going on? So the person is, is, is actually got some kind of concern. But they're hesitant about talking to to you with it. It's like, I don't know what to say or do just yet, but I want to say or do something. Not sure about what's going on with you, how open you are to me, that kind of thing. So they're very much coming at you with an open ear this week. And if you need a shoulder to cry on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Let's see what the universe wants to throw out about uh, dealing with this energy this week. For my cancers, what do they need? That would be helpful. Oh, guys, I'm not feeling it. Hang on. Do I need to sling them? Uh oh. Universe ain't got nothing. No, I lied. It does. I get me to say, Universe ain't got nothing to say to y'all, cancer. But it does. It says self love. Awaken the love within you. Attune your heart to love. And your energy will connect to the flow of the universe. Self-love. Uh-huh. What else? Lessons. You're learning spiritual lessons that will assist you in your journey to spiritual growth. Be patient with yourself. Ooh, yeah. Be patient with yourself. Understanding of yourself. And support. Ooh, someone will enter your life to help you and who has potential to become someone significant in your life. Wow, some, like I said, guys, I don't know if it's a romantic friend, whatever it is, connection coming towards you. Fears is on the bottom of the deck. Despite how dark things appear, light is breaking through. Be brave and find a way through it. Mm -hmm, find a way through it. Uh, the universe is actually telling you that the person, because like I said, they're coming in with not so much, you know, if you need me to talk, I'll talk. I'll talk about myself. Do you want me to? But uh, they're coming in more of, I'm an open ear and I got a shoulder, a big one, if you need to cry. If you need to talk. They, they're coming in with an open ear, trying to be very supportive. Wow. Let's go ahead and pull you a, uh, what is this? Romance Angel Oracles. Let's see the energies in the connection right now from this deck's standpoint. What's going on in this connection? Pop. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, what steps am I being guided to take? We're overly cautious if they're right about our, uh, their, you know, our energy. Pay attention to the red flags on the bottom of the deck. If the signs are cautioning you, uh, right there's our private. What I'm looking for, uh, it, it, where's the red flag? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Mm, okay. Let's see what the uh, Hollywood romance stars will bring out when it comes to this connection, this energy. Anything for my kid? We got something. Warm embrace. Let yourself enjoy. Your partner's loving arms around your body. Their touch ignites a flame within you. I feel like I need to go one more, guys, because that one popped quick. Yes. And we've got love at first sight. The instant gravitational pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know that this is a soul connection. A soul connection connection oh i love that cancers i hope it was helpful guys y'all stay blessed hi leos let's see who's headed your way this week and what energy they're bringing in with them this is for my leos my leos let's get your person's perception of you and when i say perception i do mean thoughts and feelings and the opinion that is formed from the thoughts and feelings my Leos, how is a person perceiving their energy right now? Their energy, we've got it right here. Ah, discreet communication, secret text, deleting evidence, hiding and denying the truth about something. What else we've got? Grudges, resentment from past, unresolved past issues, bitter feelings. So this person is 
feeling like, you know, you've got, they, yeah, their perception of you, you've got some heavy energy. Mm -hmm. Probably towards them, but they are wondering what, what you're up to. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What are you not being transparent uh, about with them? It could be just one incident, you know, one thing you just don't want them to have a clue of. <laughs> but they picked up some discretion, being discreet. Let's see your perception of them, your thoughts, your feelings, and the opinion of their energy, their energy. This is for my Leos. How are they perceiving this person's energy? Oh, pop. On the bottom, we've got no expectations, no clear intentions, dating with no real purpose, and misdirection. We may feel like this, you know, we're just not in alignment with each other. Yeah. What else? walk away giving up with no fight abandonment left unresolved and unfinished business mm. for some reason i really feel like because of their perception of you is you're holding the, these bitter feelings of something did not get fixed or worked through with this person uh, and I really, like I said, I really feel like you feel like it's, it's, you know, we're way out of alignment with each other and they don't seem to want to find that middle ground, that compromise. Bottom of the deck, what we got going on there? We got gossip, spread of rumors, no privacy, talk around town, talk around town. Hmm. And that's both of our energies in this connection, guys. Uh, so that gossip can be one thing, you know, where it may be something that, about the other person that gets on our nerve, they share too much. <laughs> yeah, they don't know when to keep their mouth shut. Or it can simply be that um, we are talking to other people, friends, family, that kind of thing about what's going on because uh, communication is not going between us, uh, or at least authentic, transparent communications. Mm -hmm. So, ooh. And, and like I said, that is both of our energy. So if you, you're, you know, you're talking to your sister, your brother, <laughs> your mama, uh, this person would also be, you know, looking for friends or someone they can talk, talk about their concerns of what's going on. Just a way to voice, voice our concerns. Let's see their desires to, towards you, but also what are they desiring from you? this week desires from what are they wanting we've got judgment card leo king of wands leo you showing up <laughs> yes what else here oh we're getting to death card eight of swords mm. okay just just with this one guys for real um the person is wanting you to change your mind about something. They're wanting to bring, you know, something back to life. Mm -hmm. But they are very concerned that they're not, it can't be brought back. We can't fix this. It's not fixable. But yet, their desire here, this hidden desire on this Eight of Sword, is to try to keep you contained. Uh, in the connection with them one way or another. So that their brain is going on how can they leverage to keep you around to, let's see, let's see. But they ultimately know right now something's dead between you. Ooh, do we want to resurrect it? <laughs> Especially when you've crossed the path of a Leo that you've done wrong. If you resurrect something that's died away, you get a zombie. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your brain kind of energy. I think Pet Cemetery, you'll not recognize it. No. Okay, let's see their actions toward you this way. Actions towards my Leos. They should use caution, guys. Mm, they're coming in with stress. They're stressed out. Mm -hmm. Looking for things to be stressed out. Wish fulfillment, uh huh, overindulging in things because they're stressed out. We're getting a lot of nine energies here, and y'all know in tarot, the nines are actually the endings, not the tens. The tens represent how you end it, how it ends, what note it ends on. The nines are the energy of it's coming to an end. Endings. <laughs> 
Oh, so we've got somebody that knows we're close to an ending. What else? They definitely coming in with some like jealousy. They're overindulging in things. They're they're grasping hard to hold on to the connection. Like I said, they're they're very deep under under current intentions, motives that they may even be blind to themselves as they're going to try to guilt you or find some something, create a circumstance or a situation they can confine you, get you to stay longer even though they know it's probably over mm -hmm. with all these nines so uh if think of this one as escapism guys the nine of cups uh wish it wish fulfillment i want my wishes i want what i want but i'm not getting them so let me numb out energy so that's what you can expect from this person on actions and then on the bottom of it we got a nine of wands a nine of wands we definitely hit in the end of something that you know they're pretty you know they know they know <laughs> you probably already know S something died away that you cannot get back but they won't they want to pretend like it can happen mm -hmm. okay let's go ahead and get the universe your higher self the divine to give you um a few oracles here that might be helpful for dealing with this energy this week Just for my leos we're getting Oh, Leo, look, Dominion, you're the master of your domain, which may intimidate others, but you can outdo your opponent, your opponents. Stay calm and observe. Try not to be triggered on an emotional level and reactive, acting on the triggers. Passion, there's untapped potential. It's time to take action on your passion and make magic happen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, new passions what what do you want and what uh where do you want to what do you want to go towards guys future think future heart calling reveal your heart's calling you have everything you need and now is the time to follow your heart's desires what is your true heart's desires bottom of the deck for you is wait don't feel rushed to make a decision right now spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. So that's your higher self saying, you know, don't be reactive. Making quick choices and things like that. You really need to get straight with yourself. What are you passionate about? What lights your heart up? What are you wanting as a legacy to leave this world with? What What's your legacy, your long term? Hmm. Let's go ahead and pull the Romance Angel Oracles. Let me get some water, guys. I've evidently huffed or puffed in some pollen. Because it feels like I've breathed powder. <laughs> I was only outside for a minute. So, Romance Angel Oracles, can we see the current energies in this connection? What's going on? In the connection for my Leo's, the predominant energy right here. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Soulmate. Got a, we feel like we got a soul connection with them. There's also children. Your love life is being affected by children. Mm -hmm. One more hanging out here. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, uh, if we've got children, guys, because like I said, the hidden desire here is Eight of Swords. Uh, somebody may use children as a leverage. As a leverage. So, yeah. Let's get our Hollywood Romance stars. Let's see uh, what else would be helpful this week for you when it's dealing with this person. It's from a Leo's. What would be helpful? Most helpful to my God, right? Okay, we'll take both of them. Okay. Freedom. When we can be our truest selves, we are then able to freely love. When we have freedom. Mm -hmm. Like I said, something about your person's energy is they want to try to build an illusion you don't have your freedom. Family and friends, the support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection. When you know you've got other people you can turn to 
not just this person because like i said we did get somebody would use children as a leverage uh -huh. but stay connected with family and friends also so yeah but guys i hope that was helpful guys y'all stay blessed hi virgos welcome to your reading let's see who's headed your way this week and what energy they're bringing in with them yes this is for my virgos my virgos person can we get the energy up in here Let's go ahead and look at their perception of you. And when I say perception, I do mean their thoughts, their feelings, and then the opinion that formulates around those thoughts and feelings. How are they viewing my Virgos right now? Pop, we've got surface level. No real conversation, fun, casual connections, not sharing personal detail. Oh, we've got a casual, but we, we the person may feel like we're not actually... Growing closer. What else? Nitpicky. Ooh, they're finding you nitpicky. Really? Fargo. <laughs> finding fault in everything. Extreme attention to detail. Looking for minor imperfections. And that may be just the, their paranoia about your energy going off because the one thing that did stick out is not sharing uh deeper personal information about self just yet we're not fully opening up to each other and feel comfortable enough or you it may just be you i don't know uh feeling like you can't really you know you, or it's too vulnerable to share deeper things right now with someone so, let's see your perception of them, your thoughts, your feelings, and then the opinion that forms around that. We've got self-sabotage. Not giving it a fair chance. Self-destructive behaviors, inadequacy, and poor self-worth. Ooh, they might be right. Nitpicky, which I don't blame you in this case. If, if you're perceiving that, guys, you know, do you really, can you really connect with somebody that's in that uh energy let's see what else is going on and it's right here tease <laughs> provoked or tempt not offering a fair deal can't be trusted ah uh, so you're just not sure about this person their what what their motives are what their true intentions are they may have some destructive behaviors that you picked up on lifestyle something where you're going i don't know about that <laughs> i don't know about that I uh, say so, yeah but we there's our perceptions of each other bottom of the deck we have past trauma now this is going to be on both of us guys unprocessed hurt and pain unresolved childhood issues in desperate need of healing past traumas that have put us on guard towards each other or just you know in any kind of connection uh, so we both have been through some shit so to say in the past that has uh, got us more guarded over our boundaries right now with each other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but the one one thing that's pivotal guys is not sharing personal details like personal intimate details what the things i like the things i don't like things that i hope for things i hope not for that kind of thing we're not just we're you know we're doing surface level connection here uh, so yeah Ooh, let's go ahead and get their desires towards you virgo this week but also their desires of what they want from you <laughs> Either way, we're going to take it. Let's see uh, desires towards and from. Got a death card. King of Wands, Leo. Leo showing up in here, guys. What else? What else? Ooh. Nine of Wands, Battle Area. Why the death card? Y'all know the death card is something has died away. You can't get it back. Uh-uh. The ending of something. Huh. Not of Wands. Ooh, what was that? Ten of Wands and a Seven of Cups. 
Mm, that explains it. Uh, their desire, guys, is not so much a desire towards you. It's a desire to get clear about something about you. Are you trying to rebound? It, it sort of insinuates um, they probably picked up or they know. I don't know. Or they're suspecting you ha you're still in love with someone from your past. And are you trying to recreate that? Something that's already dead, but you, you're wanting to recreate it with in your next relationship. You want that person to be exactly like someone from your past. So that, because um, it, it would have you working hard. What can I control? What can I not control? Um, but trying to manifest something out of the ether, so to say, that was their memory of the past. Hmm, actions towards you this week. King of Pentacles, they're stable this week. Uh -huh. It's Taurus energy, Earth energy. Open to talking. Eight of Swords, but they're holding back. Mm, they're still holding back. Yeah, they're, they still don't feel safe enough to open up and talk to you yet. Uh, and to act, just blunt, blunt, blatantly ask. Blatantly, guys. Uh, just, you know, are you rebounding? Are you still in love with someone else? That kind of thing. Because they're holding back. They're not, they're not talking. Their thoughts, their, you know, their thoughts is like, is it, are my thoughts working for me or against me? This week they're working against them because it's got them in sit down. But they're not going anywhere yet. That Taurus energy is, I'll push through. Uh, two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is just feeling um, a little bit in doubt. And we're in an uncomfortable new territory. With the two pentacles. But it, it's an, not enough to make the person run from it. Uh, so they do, they are going to stick it out this week. This is just not, they're not open to talking. They may be waiting for you to open up and talk a little bit more. About your true desires. And like I said, that's going to be one of the things they want answered this week. The, the desire is to have that answered. Are you rebounding? Are you trying to recreate the love you had with someone else? Hmm. Let's get your higher self, the divine, the universe, to give you a couple of oracles on our advice on this energy this week. We've got communication. There's a message from the heart trying to be expressed. Be mindful of what you say and be use discretion. Be mindful of what you say and use discretion. What what are you talking about? Hmm. Are you talking about next? Crowning. You're being initiated right now. Let go of who you were and embrace the mystery of who you have yet to become. Mm -hmm. Letting go of the past. Bottom of the deck, we have build a new. Don't kill yourself trying to fix what is beyond repair. This is your chance to build something different. Build something different. Let's see the energies in the connection. We're using Romance Angel Oracles. I haven't used this deck in a while. I thought I would pull it out. Let's see what the universe or higher self is pulling out about this connection. What do we got? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of of holiday time together. Ooh, it's telling you spend some time together. <laughs> yes. Uh, but let it be like a honeymoon. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Ooh, there it is. The communication. And the person is sticking around, guys. I mean, they are. Earth energy, Taurus energy is stubborn. It's like, no. Nah, I'm not going to run at first, first uh little thing i'll stick it out but they're but they are very held back on what they will talk about or what you know how they will they'll wait for you to start the conversation let's put it that way let's use our um hollywood romance stars uh, oracle deck let's see what else your higher self the universe wants to bring out about connection this way is a vibe enjoy the good vibes and energy with this person because they are like no other and they are like no other <laughs> they're not like somebody from your past friends and family the support of family and friends may help strengthen this connection Ooh, 
you let your friends and family in on, on this person. <laughs> yes. Because I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hey, Libra. So, welcome to your reading. Let's see who is coming towards you. What energy they are bringing in this week for my Libras. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's get their perception of you guys. And when I say perception, I do mean their thoughts, their feelings, and then the opinion that formulates around those of you how is this person perceiving my libra's energy right now we got something on the bottom hmm, hang on okay bottom we've got time away healing and recovery downtime for self-reflection mental clarity and truth so we're withdrawn a little bit think of a hermit mode rather that so we are you know physically walked away from this person <laughs> Um, emotionally, mentally, we're, we're more in hermit mode. See what else they're seeing. Discreet communication, secret text, deleting evidence, hiding and denying the truth about something. Coming with that one, we've got guarded, protecting oneself, cautious and reluctant, pushing away unknowingly. Ooh, so the person may, uh, with these here, Especially that one, the discreet communications, they may, some of your behavior and the fact they got you in hermit mode may make them like worried, paranoid. What are you doing? <laughs> Who are you talking to? What are you saying to them that you're not telling me? That kind of thing. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull into your perception of them. Let's get your thoughts, your feelings, and then the opinion of the person that formulates from your thoughts and feelings. Libra's. Libra's perception. We're getting one right there, but hang on. I'm going to get that full shuffle. Oh, one night stand. Passionate, pleasurable exchanges. Selfish sexual desires comes first. Ow, stepping out on a, uh, stepping out of a commitment. Mm. Okay, guys, let's see what else is going on with your perception. We're getting three. Mm -hmm. Heartbreaker retracts love offer, no emotional investment, rejects lover, wants, falls in love. Hang on, let's see what else is coming here. Surface level, no real conversation, fun, casual connections, not sharing personal details. <clears throat> Dysfunctional. We are seeing this person as dysfunctional also. State of disorder, chaotic, and drama-filled life. Highly unstable. One more. You've got some opinions, don't you? And some insight into this person. Independence. Freedom from control. Self-sufficient. Live life with no restraints. I would, with that card, I wanted to say commitment, babe. <laughs> commitment babe so we definitely got something going on here yeah you can see they got you guarded you're withdrawing emotionally mentally pulling away and down here we see your reasons why <laughs> yes bottom of the deck let's see what's going on with that energy we've got options not ready to settle down look commitment babe indecisive so yeah okay so mm-hmm Mm -hmm. that's both of our energies by the way guys that's both what we have in like when when we're coming into this connection into this relationship or energy with this person is you've got your reasons to be commitment phobe and whatever reason they got their commitment phobe too mm -hmm. so yes yeah, just avoiding a connection and but for some reason why do i keep sensing this person really wants to keep trying to connect with you there's this hidden desire to go deeper or up level with you in the connection but at the same time we're seeing your perception your, your you, you know your energies tell me what's going on that you're seeing and perceiving about them uh, it's very confusing. <laughs> very confusing. No wonder you, you know, if their perception is right that you pulled back. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and get their desires. Oh, look, what flipped down? I'm not taking it, but I want to look at it. The Five of Wands, confusion, chaotic, confusion, uh, guarded, Seven of Wands, 
and Virgo Knight of Pentacles, let's slow down. <laughs> let's slow down. I'm going to take this slow and think practical here because, yeah. Mm. Let's see their desires towards you or their desires of what they want from you this week. Desires towards my Libras. We've got a two of wands <clears throat> at a crossroad. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, patience, but impatience. I'm feeling it on the impatience. And a Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Do, I, do we keep going with this? Is it worth it to you? Over there, there's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really showing desire other than I need clarity. I need to know where things are going. I don't know where things are going. Mm -hmm. uh, being at a crossroads, stalled, standstill energy of trying to make a decision, get clear about where things are going. The person is impatient to know what's going on with you. Mm-hmm. Do I, and they are questioning, do I keep on? And they got a lot of stress. Their, their monkey brains are running amok with them of trying to figure out what's going on with you and what choices you're making. Actions towards you this week. Actions towards my Libras. Not feeling that one, guys. Hang on. Right there. We've got high priestess. They're becoming secretive also. Mm-hmm. Obsessing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Lover's card with a Knight of Cups. Actions towards you. Uh, they they are trying to gauge your energy. They really are. World card, is it over on the bottom of the deck? We know, we know a change needs to be made in the connection before it would work with the world card. And if we got the death card, I'd say, you know, you, you both already know it's over. But with the world card, no. Both of you know there has to be something that changes the dynamics our way of communicating, engaging um, with each other, uh, it's got to change. The one thing is that them trying to intuit their way, they are obsessing about the connection. They do feel already committed to the connection. Lover's card can show you obsessing on something. You're obsessed with it, guys. Um, just magnetically drawn to it. Um with a Pisces cup, nine of cups, Libra, that is offering, offering to us something heartfelt. So, yeah. So, their actions are to them trying to gauge your energy and try to, trying to remain open. Y'all forgive me, I'm banging my cup around. I need water. So, it's a lot of talk, but also just heartfelt, heartfelt. Uh, whatever they're extending with that cup, some kind of offer. What's up under our world card? Ooh, Taurus, King of Pentacles energy. Stubborn and sticking with something. Let me prove my loyalty to you now. Mm -hmm. So we definitely got them coming towards us uh, with with heart on sleeve. Let's put it that way. Let's go ahead and get um, Oracle messages for you when it comes to this connection from your higher self, from the divine. So from a Libra, what would be most helpful this week when it comes to this connection? Pop. Pampering. Make time to pamper yourself, rest, and have a moment of stillness to relax and restore your body and mind. What else are we getting here? Blooming. You're not built to shrink down to less, but to blossom into more. Bloom and speak with no holding back. Bloom and speak with no holding back. Protection. You are protected from the tongues that are not wise. Mm, I like seeing that one, guys. Yes. And empowerment. Give yourself permission to practice your power. You're more powerful than you realize. More powerful than you realize. Bottom of the deck, we got frozen, guys. Stagnation will soon pass. Use it as a vehicle for self-development and increase your personal power. Uh-huh. <laughs> Falling out a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull our Romance Angel Oracles. I haven't used these in a while, so I thought I'd pull them out for today's reading. Let's see the overall predominant energy in the connection with this person in my Libra. 
pop what's coming out free yourself it's time to take back control of your life mm -hmm. and it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all mm. Ooh. let's pull uh hollywood romance stars Anything for my Libras when it comes to this connection this week. Anything. We've got emotional support. Now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. Heart, heart conversations. Like I said, the actions are taken towards you. Is that night of cups? They're open to it. Uh -huh. Okay, Libras. Y'all have a beautiful week and stay blessed. Hi Scorpios, welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming your way and what energy they are bringing in with them this week. It's for my Scorpios, my Scorpios. Let's get your person's perspective of you, their thoughts, their feelings, and then the opinions that form around their thoughts and opinions about the perception of you. What are they perceiving? How are they seeing my Scorpios? We've got something on the bottom. We've got, do you a tease? You a tease, provoke or tempt. Not offering a fair deal can't be trusted. Somebody feels like you, they can't trust you. You just teasing them. What else? We've got deception, mm -hmm. lies and trickery, creating confusion and emotional hurt, fraudulent activity and behavior. What really popped for me was creating the confusion. They want to blame you for their confusion of why do I feel so attracted to you? Why don't I seem to be able to resist you? Ooh, Scorpios. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. Let's see your perception of them. And like I said, perception is your thoughts, your feelings, and then the opinion that forms around your thoughts and opinions of this person. How are you perceiving them? Oh, got one right here. And we've got lack of self-improvement. Uh, no self-work or self-reflection. Not seeing one's wrongs in need of transformation. So we do see somebody, yeah, yeah. from your perspective, we're seeing, you know, their their energy of, there's a lot they could improve on, but they're not. <laughs> they're not going to. What else? What else? We've got spiteful. Ooh, cruel and unkind words inflicting pain onto others. Malicious intentions. Malicious intentions. Inflicting pain on others. Hmm. Bottom of the deck. What are we saying? Excuses. Trying to defend your wrongs. Not acknowledging your... They're not acknowledging their fault. Justifying behavior. Uh, the one thing about the bottom of the deck card, guys. This is both of our energies in the connection. So, one way or another, we're both exhibiting this in the connection with each other. So, yeah, excuses. Ah. Okay. I almost, when, when I get down here, guys, it's like you, you it's like, the, the, what do I want to say? <laughs> I'm friends with benefits. <laughs> yes, and we're keeping on that in that arena. <laughs> yes. So yeah, because it's like, yeah, they can't seem to can't resist you. That physical mag magnetism. But you, down here you're looking like no. Uh -uh. <laughs> they got they got a lot of work to do on themselves. <laughs> but they're hot. Yes, they are. Ooh, okay. Let's see their desires towards you or what they're desiring from you. It's for my Scorpios. That one does not want to let go of me. Got the sun card. Ooh, this way. Got a desire for clarity. Uh huh. Happiness. Not feeling that one. What else? It's on the bottom. Stuck energy. Please enlighten me. <laughs> yeah, that's almost like for real. Major Arcana's card coming out going, can you please enlighten me? I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. And we got a King of Cups. Scorpio, there you are. Yeah, Scorpio, can you please enlighten me a little bit here? Because we don't seem to be getting nowhere. I want more than just the friends with benefit with you. 
Ow. Actions towards you this week. Stagnant Empress energy. Uh, Six of Cups energy. And Queen of Pentacles. They handle in business this week, guys. And the four, bottom, bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. Not a whole lot of action towards us this week. It almost implies that the person has some obligations, responsibilities, children may be involved. That, you know, and it could, it doesn't have to be children, just something that, or someone or some ones that depend on, depend on them to do their job <laughs> to got to balance out the work life with the fun life so to say this week so we could and of all things of all things when i'm doing the reading is what right at the end of june and we just had that full moon in capricorn which does require you to balance work life and fun life so yeah and face facts about things so their action is not a whole lot of action this week Towards us because they've got obligations and duties that call. Uh -huh. They have to show up. <laughs> so, yeah. But their desire is for you really to get to enlighten them. What am I doing wrong? The person evidently really wants more from you than just, just to, you know, to have fun. So to say, the physical fun. <laughs> ten toes up, ten toes down. <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, but like I said, the action doesn't seem to be uh, too much action of, uh, you know, and it's like rest, recuperation, recovery. Uh, what's up under it? Ace of Swords. My thoughts are working against me. Moon card. I really like to know what's going on with you because I'm in love with you. we got the Knight of Cups. Spicy energy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's going to get on their nerves that they, that, um... They're not getting to spend too much, too much action or exert too too much of their energy towards you this week. But emotionally, mentally, they are exerting a lot on that level. Let's get you some oracle cards from your higher self, the divine. When it comes to this person, we've got spring. What you're asking for will become yours in spring. Rebirth, spiritual rejuvenation, love, and growth awaits. Love and growth awaits. And for some of us, guys, that may not be a timeline. It may be telling you the energies of the week. Uh, of your week. You know, we could be in the dead of winter or dead of summer. And you get a spring card. And that means the energy for you is something's coming to life. Birthing something. Mm. What else? We've got options. You may be focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see. There's other great options. Other great options. What else? Protection. You are protected from the tongues that are not wise. I like that one. Yes. Let's pull our Romance Angel Oracles. I haven't used this deck in a while. I thought I'd pull it out for today's reading. Let's see the overall energies in the connection between my Scorpio and this person. The predominant energy we got to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Who's holding on to an ex? Might be one of you or both of you. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. Oh, are we able to have faith going through trust issues? Bottom of the deck, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Oh, benefits, benefits, benefits. But we are, uh, you can see the energy that's uh, been predominant for us. Let's pull the Hollywood romance stars. See what else will come out for my Scorpios for this connection this week. What would be helpful? Ooh, feeling that one. Ooh, we've got children. Children are a significant factor in your love life. This may signify the desire of them or someone's inner child needing attention. Like I said, for some reason, like I said, we picked up six cups children. It's going to be... In the way this week. <laughs> Higher self coming out also. No matter how dark or muddy your path may be. Trust the guidance of your higher self. 
Ooh, listen to your inner guidance and your intuition. Look for confirmations that uh, you are tapped in and tuned in. Hearing yourself, right? Ask for signs. Bring me clarity. Give me confirmation that what I got from you is right. Yes. Scorpios, I hope that was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, hey, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming your way this week. What energy they're bringing in with them. This is for my Sagittarius. Let's get your person's uh, perception of you. When I say perception, I do mean their feelings, their thoughts, and then the opinion that formulates from those two. Let's see how they're perceiving you and your energy. How are they seeing my Sagittarius? Ooh. We've got bad attitude. You've got a bad attitude, Sagittarius, just for your information. <laughs> From your person's perspective. Ow. Personality clash, a sense of entitlement, unreasonable expectations. Really? Hmm. What else are they seeing? Procrastination, indecisive, hesitation, and no movement. We're not getting anywhere, are we? <laughs> no. No. Okay, so that's their perception of you, thoughts and feelings about you and your current energy. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and tap into your perception of them. And like I said, it's your thoughts, your feelings, and then the opinion that formulates around those two things. Where's the energy? You see this person as dysfunctional. Oh, state of disorder, chaotic, drama-filled life, highly unstable. Ow, okay, okay. What else are you perceiving about this person? Detachment, not expressing feelings, unable to connect on emotional level, acting closed off and standoffish. Mm -hmm. They dysfunctional, but they got their opinions, don't they? <laughs> yes, they do. Everybody's got one. Yes, they do. We all do. Bottom of the deck, guys. Now, remember, bottom of the deck energy is something you both bring into this connection, into the energies. Deception. Lies, trickery. Mm, creating confusion and emotional hurt, fraudulent activity or behavior. Oh, what popped off? Take whatever popped off for you. But for me, none of the words actually popped off other than this mask. <laughs> this mask. We're not being transparent and authentic with each other. And we may feel a need to react from the other person's uh, reaction to things trigger reactions on each other. Let's put it that way. Mm, okay, guys. Oh, friction, friction, friction. Let's go ahead. Let's pull the Gilded Tarot. I want to find out their desires towards you, but also if they want to pop out their desires of what they want from you. Mm -hmm. Their desires towards my Sagittarius or what are the desires they want something what? From my Sagittarius. Let's find out. Mm. Where's our energy? Their desires, please. Ooh. I'm taking them. I'm feeling them. We've got a Queen of Wands. We've got a live wire. Yes. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Aries energy. Queen of Wands with a Devil energy. Mm. And Page of Wands. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. they definitely pulling in of your, your feminine persuasion, your trickery, your trickery, <laughs> your ability to enchant, enchant me, have me obsessing on you. Uh, you trigger me like crazy, but I just can't get past my attraction to you. Uh -uh. They feel very much like you you got control of the situation. Mm -hmm. That you know how to pull strings and get them to do what you want them to do. And they don't seem to be able to resist. So they're placing all the blame for their behaviors on you. Yes. Yes. And you may confuse them a little bit. Because what, what, what do we have up here of no movement, hesitation, and indecisive? It's like you can't make up your mind, but you got me standing here... You know, like a chihuahua. 
begging, just tell me what you want me to do. I'll do it. Just tell me. Yes, but they're blaming you for it. <laughs> They're putting all the heavy weight and influence of you uh, and the way things are going into connection. So there's no real desire here other than just tell me what you want because I'm obsessed with you. Yes. Mm. Let's see actions that are taken towards you this week. Actions, any actions this person may be taking. We've got a seven of ones. They're going to try to stand up and get on a soapbox with you and defend their self of, because like I said, they're placing all the, you've got all the influence. you got all the leverage in this connection. I just can't resist you. You shouldn't do that to me. You shouldn't enchant me this way. <laughs> Enchantment, guys. Uh, so they are going to be standing on their soapbox uh, trying to defend their side of everything. Hmm. High Priestess. Hang on. Let's see what's coming after her. Ooh, hair font. Hair font. Tell me why the High Priestess is there. Tell me why. Let me, let me sling it, guys. Let me sling it. Why is the High Priestess there? Went sideways. Okay. So with the sun going sideways, normally the sun coming up is happiness, but also clarity, transparent about everything. You see everything in the light. Yes. It's only when we get into the dark that we need the moon to guide us through because mm -hmm, we're groping. This person's intentionally not revealing something. Mm -hmm. Intentionally not revealing something, keeping something Undercovers. Let's find out why the hair font's there when it comes to their action. Why the hair font? Ooh, getting to we got the magician coming out. They're definitely got motives, intentions, you know, all ulterior motives for what they're doing. <laughs> and a queen of swords. Queen of swords. Libra energy. Okay, with them bringing in the Libra energy because I just... Uh, justice the justice card just flashed and i'm like they feel like something's off balance and unfair and like i said they're putting everything onto you that you got all the influence and you can get them to do whatever you want them to do and they know and they don't like it <laughs> you might be looking at the person like they're unstable is that what come out I think it was dysfunctional, unstable yeah uh they they are not transparent about something but they're standing up yelling about it they're, they're voicing it blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah yada 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 but they're not getting to the point of anything uh when it comes to that hair font it seems to be insinuating that they're going to like throw out some kind of ultimatum if the, if the, you don't do this or do that blah 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 because they're stand, standing on their soapbox guys that uh i'm gonna cut it off real quick yes <laughs> i'm i'm leaving <laughs> They ain't going nowhere. Y'all know it. Mm -mm. King of Swords, they are very much in their head, though. They're overthinking everything, and their way of thinking is in a fixed energy that is just literally <laughs> that, and that together is just fixed, narrowed. I can't see outside the box and other opportunities or another way of dealing with anything. Uh, they'll just keep going in circles on how they're trying to, to get their point across about something. So, yeah. We definitely got some energy at us this week. I'll see what it is. But just expect that they will um, come in like with some kind of ultimatum. But underneath that ultimatum is what are they hiding? The truth. They're not going to let you see the truth of when they say, I will. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's over. If I don't get what I want and what I need, it's over. When it, the truth, what's the truth? Not over. <laughs> Not over. Because uh, you got them enchanted from their point of view. Ooh, okay. So, yeah. Think mind games, the trickery stuff. Uh, emotional, mental mind games. Person's definitely coming in with it this week. Let's go ahead and see what your higher self wants to bring out about dealing with the circumstances or the energy this week. We're getting four. 
Let's go from the bottom. Fertility. This is the perfect time to start new projects, fall in love, change jobs, and give a birth to new abundant life. Ooh, be careful this week, guys, because y'all know when we get friction energy like this and it seems to be a pattern or a habit between us, a lot of times it ends up with us, you know, making up. You know what I mean? So it is a fertile time. Blessings. Ah, a major life change will bring you great blessings. Prepare for the unexpected. This is a magical moment. Wow, guys. Extra caution if you're not looking to be fertile. In nine months down the road, you might want to make sure there's raincoats involved. So, yeah. Options. Also, uh, you may be focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see there's other great options available. Yes. And you got a star seed. I love this one, guys. All my Sagittarius are star seeds. Your essence is magical, appearing in multiple bodies, lifetimes, and dimensions. That one's important for some reason. Dimensions cross the veil. All time is happening at one time. There is no past, present, or future. There's just a veil between us. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know why it come out. Believe in your magic. Believe in your magic this week. Oh, I love that, guys. But like I said, extra word of caution. Mm -hmm. When it comes, if you're not looking for fertility, <laughs> yeah, like babies, uh, use extra caution. Let's pull you some uh, Romance Angel Oracles. I haven't used this one in a while, so I thought I would pull it out. Let's get the predominant energy. Uh, it's in this connection, what's going on? Mm, right here. You deserve love. You are lovable. Shooting arrows at each other. Hmm. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Ooh, disconnect from the world. You're lovable. Are we sending arrows that are saying? Bottom of the deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Uh, are we shooting arrows that go that are going, you know, you're not lovable? <laughs> Maybe we should switch that this week. Of, uh, you know. You're annoying as hell, but I love you. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> but you are no, uh, annoying. Yes. Let's do our um, Hollywood romance stars. See what will come out for my Sagittarius this week. This connection, this person's energy, what will come out. Ooh, guys, what are we getting here? We've got spiritual awakening. Your partner is sensing that there is something profoundly important about this connection. A spiritual awakening. And we've got some playfulness. Ooh. We, yeah, when they stand on their soapbox, yeah, guys, play with it a little bit. <laughs> yes. Playtime is essential for relationships. Have a little fun recapturing romance with your partner. What's up on the bottom of the deck? Let's look, guys. Ready for love. You've been understandably guarded. Scared of being hurt again. But you took the time to heal. Now you're ready to try love again. I like that. Sagittarius, I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Capricorns. So welcome to your reading. Let's see who's coming towards you this week. What energies they're bringing in towards you. It's just for my Capricorns. My Capricorns. Ooh. Let's get your person's perception of you. When I say perception, I do mean their thoughts and their feelings. And then the opinion that formulates around those thoughts and feelings. How are they perceiving my Capricorns energy? How are they perceiving my Capricorn? Ooh, that one was trying to fly out. We're taking these. Mm, 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 mm. What we got going on here? We got emotionally void, acting cold and distance, detached from true feelings. Heart space is blocked. There's part of their perception of you. Yes. And then what else? Casual counterparts. Uh, string them alone. Friends with benefits, inappropriate conversations with others. Are you doing things to make this person jealous? Are you talking? Oh, hmm. Could be for some of us. I don't feel like it's all of us. But we may have put this person at arm's length for some reason. Let's find out.
because we're renewing your perception of them, your thoughts, your feelings around this person, their energies. Mm -hmm. And then to see the opinion that you have formulated around those thoughts and feelings, what you're perceiving of them. We've got unreliable, not dependable, fickle, and flighty, unpredictable, erratic behavior. Oh, no wonder we went in. Arm length, arm length. <laughs> Stay back. Let's see what else will come out. Pop right here. Deception. Mm -hmm. Lies and trickery. Creating confusion and emotional hurt. Fraudulent activity and behavior. Wow. There's our perception of them. Bottom of the deck, guys. The one thing I want to tell you about the bottom of the deck, whatever card comes out on it, that's the energy we have in common that we both bring into the connection, into our interactions. Big mistake. Oh, went down wrong path. Bad judgment call. Didn't carefully consider all options. Man, so after we deal with each other or we've been around each other for a minute underneath in the deeper part of ourself, we're going, big mistake. I made a big mistake. Ow. Ow. Okay, guys. We're getting on each other's nerves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm using the Gilded Tarot, I'm going to pull up their desires towards you this week, but also their desires of what they want from you, either or. What are their desires towards my Capricorn, from my Capricorn? We getting it here. Ooh, they got a plan. <laughs> they got a plan. Four wands. Uh -huh, let's level up. Let's make a commitment. Yes, let me buy you. <laughs> Ow, page, a page of pentacles, guys. It is a standstill energy, but it is like a tangible thing, a message of a tangible thing. Let's see what else here. Six wands. Six wands is feeling pressure energy. Uh -huh. It's a victory card, but it's also about teamwork, but it is like a spotlight. Everybody's looking at me and expecting me to perform, do something. Energy. Think Leo. And then we got, I want to get away from this storm. <laughs> we got sixes, guys, trying to balance and transition transition through something. So the person's plan uh, for making it easy for them to get out of the spotlight energy, feel it, get out of the pressure, move away from this storm is if I got a plan, if I say this is the plan, I want, I, want, I want something, I want to build a family with you. I want to commit. A lot of times four wands can be your um, wedding, you know, wedding, practice to your wedding. Mm -hmm. That kind of energy. Mm, celebration. That kind of energy. So we've got, the, we're getting to see the shadow side of their true desires. That is, let me get the hell out of this storm and get the pressure off of me because they're feeling the pressure with the sixes here, balance and transitioning, that kind of thing. Uh, let me just make a false promise because our page of pentacles is what uh, a lot of us call the babe in love when it comes to relationship. And the babe in love is that standstill energy and won't move. Because it's too afraid to. <laughs> it's like, no, i got to get something clear before I can take some action here. I don't know what to do. It's unformed energy, but it stands perfectly still. No action. No action. So, any promises they come in, any plan of action they come in with this week, it's just to get the pressure off of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see the actions they're coming in with this week. Oh, love. Ace Cups. <laughs> Yes, uh, everything's going to come up roses. It'll get better. Three of Wands, Young Empress Energy, and then a Page of Swords. They are saying anything and everything they can this week to get out of this pressure that they're feeling on them. Uh, and they, bottom of the deck, they even, may even use uh, the Wands, <laughs> the, the Passion, uh, to influence us. Uh, but they're definitely coming in with love love future plan why didn't we get an ace <laughs> of pentacles if we got an ace of pentacles i would have read that a totally different guys it would have through a whole new nuance but this one their action is love i'm coming in with love and blessings of love our cup's going to run us over 
Yes, it will. Everything's going to come up roses any day now, but we're not seeing the evidence of it. We're not seeing any movement of it. And I'm going to tell you whatever it takes to get the pressure off of me. And if I have to, I will perform. <laughs> I will perform. Oh, Capricorns. Okay, guys. That's what we have to look forward to this week. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and get you some advice. Uh... Oracle cards from your higher self, from the divine. Your guides. Let's see what would be most helpful this week when it comes to this person. Oh, we've got break free. Break free from what's holding you back and move forward. Don't wait for the change. Create the change. Create that change. Break free from it. And you got options. Hmm. You may be focusing too much on one thing or person that you're failing to see. There's other great, great options. Guys, I like the word great. It stood off the page. And you also got commitment. You may get engaged <laughs> or fully dedicate yourself to something that will be long-lasting. Ah... Come in on commitment here. Commitment, because I feel like that's being sarcastic. It's like your higher self. It's like God laughing at us. Mm -hmm. uh, you may get engaged. What are they offering you guys? A four ones. Blessing. Ah, a major life change will bring great blessings. Prepare for the unexpected. This is a magical moment. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, heart calling. Reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need, and now is the time to follow your heart's desire. Ooh. It just dawned on me, guys. Uh -huh. Capricorn. Ooh, guys, hold on, hold on. How many? How many? <laughs> How many? Because we got options here. How many right before? Right before the commitment, you're going to break free from something. How many offers are you got coming in this way? How many? Talk to us. Tell us more about this offer. Don't keep it a secret. There, oh, there's a plan. <laughs> yes, there is. Uh, teamwork. Uh -huh. Patience. Somebody's been waiting patiently. Four swords. Rest, recuperation, clarity, waiting for us to get clear on it. Bottom of the deck. There's competition, guys. There's competition. So, one way or another, this week, we may actually a blessing in disguise. And it's somebody that's, there's three pentacles. <laughs> yeah, plan. They work. They, they show up. That kind of thing. They've been waiting. Waiting to get our attention. Very patiently waiting, but impatient on us to get clear about it to get clear about it so it's like we may choose a different option this week and that's where it will lead yes i love that guys which which <laughs> connection should i be talking about here because i'm pulling romance angel oracles let's pull one for up this door <laughs> let's do two this person first person until you know yeah predominant energy predominant energy We've got, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. There's the predominant energy in that one. Door number two. <laughs> Door number two. Option number two for my Capricorns. Where's the predominant energy? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Door number two. Pick door number two, y'all. <laughs> I love this Capricorn. Guys, wow. Ooh. Let's do our Hollywood romance. Let's come in over here on your soulmate energy, that door number two. Because that's probably, um, oh, look, annoyance. You or your partner may be annoyed right now. Give each other space to cool off to avoid more arguments. What else? What else? Door number two. Watch out. This is a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection. Ow. Whole new nuance with those cards coming out, guys. Because what did I tell you? The per person behind 
door number one is going to say anything. Make some false promises. Uh, because they probably got wind. You got options. And they want to stand in the way. Capricorns, guys, I hope that was helpful. Y'all stay blessed. Hi, Aquarius. So welcome to your reading. Let's see who is coming forward or towards you this week and what energy they're bringing in with them. Yes. First question I'm going to ask is their perception of you. And when I say perception, I want, I want that their feelings and their thoughts are combined and we want to get the opinion they have formulated around their thoughts and their feelings of their perception of you. How are they viewing and perceiving my Aquarius? For Aquarius's person. Oh, we're getting two out. Woo, guys, look at this. They got the, their perception. You're a control freak. <laughs> Ow. Likes to be in power, dominates and takes command, reinforces rules and regulations. Well, <laughs> Aquarius is good at the loopholes and the legalities of things, yes, but they also got you as gossip. Spread of rumors, no privacy, talk around town. Hmm. Oh, what's that about, guys? I don't know. Take it as you will. Let's see what else is their perception. I think it's on the bottom. It is uh, manipulation. Skillful and clever tactics. Taking advantage for personal benefit. Misleading and deceiving. Guys, wow. <laughs> That's their present, their present perception of you. Well, let's turn let's turn this around, guys. Mm -hmm. I want to see your perception of them. Your thoughts, your feelings, and then the opinions that you've formulated around those thoughts and feelings. Whereas your perception of this person. We've got somebody that's love bombing. <laughs> winds, affection, winds affection and then abandons. Over the top attention. So, uh, sociopath. Wow. And narcissistic behavior. No wonder you're so hardcore up here, guys. Uh-huh. And why would a, nar a, 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 a narcissistic want to mess with an Aquarius? Because an Aquarius will ninja F their brains for them. Because we know how to. Yes, we do. Oh, guys, let's see what else your perception is. We've got casual counterparts. Stringing along. Friends with benefit. Inappropriate conversations with other others guys uh -huh. so this this is how we've sort of categorized this person and and you know our perception of them uh so yeah let's go ahead and look at the uh, card on the bottom of the deck the one thing about this card whatever it is because i haven't looked at it yet <laughs> this is something we both bring out in e each other when we're in in interacting or engaging with each other. Mm -hmm. Unreliable, not dependable, fickle and flighty, unpredictable, erratic behavior. The last words on the card actually stood out for me, but you take whatever stands out for you. The unpredictable, erratic behavior. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I do question why, why would uh, somebody that is so narcissistic, so self-consumed mess around with an Aquarius? <laughs> That's like, you're just playing with fire. Yes, you're going to get, you're going to get burned. <laughs> Ow! Let's get the Gilded Tarot, guys. I want to see their desires towards you this week but also their desires of what they want from you this week either or we'll take either or whatever comes out for them but let's see the desires their desires towards or from aquarius we've got oh they're hoping you will have an open heart towards them yes <laughs> they're hoping you will be all emotional with them uh cancer queen of cups uh what else Oh, three of swords. Let me hang on to that one. Let's see what's coming after it, and then I'm going to clarify it if the next one doesn't. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Where's that? Three of swords. 
Oh, Gemini Knight of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Clarify the Three of Swords for me. Clarify that Three of Swords for me. Pop out of stagnation. Empress energy. The Empress is, yeah. Mm. Not so much stagnation. Y'all know Empress energy is a sit down energy. She's sitting down. She doesn't make a move until after she's observed everything going on. And then she'll stand up. And when she stands up, get the hell out of the way. I don't know how else to put that. Same thing with an emperor energy. <laughs> Most of the time, they're sitting down, not moving. Uh, the fact this person would really like to move you on an emotional heart level because this is your active energy. Uh, Gemini Knight of Swords, but it's it, it's your air energy. It's the active side of you. You had some communications with this person that cut deep. Uh -huh. uh, and with this one, it's like they couldn't move you. But when you're, you stood up, your words cut them. So uh, their desire seems to be in hopes that they can charm you and move you on an emotional level. Let's see a little bit more into the deeperness of this desire. We've got a Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. They are coming in with love. Talk of love. All things have changed. I've changed. Everything can be different. The world card. And yeah, I think we're a good match. And I'm hoping that you'll be open to me with the Two of Cups energy. So yeah, there's their deeper desires and what's motivating them. Uh, we got a Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They're they're very detailed in what they're coming at you with. So beware. <laughs> yes, they think they got a good line going because Capricorn energy pays attention to the details of things. Uh -huh. So and like I said, they're coming in uh, with the Knight of Cups. My heart's out. That kind of thing. Let, let's put the past behind us. Be open to me. So they really are hoping that you will be open in, in your heart, in your emotions for them. Because the last, last time, you weren't. It cut them up. But you stood up. Had some choice words for them. Actions. Let's see their actions, um, Aquarius. We got an emperor energy. Ooh. Okay. Confidence. Faith, huh, hair font. This person is not giving up, and but but think of they coming in with a plan. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, they they with the Capricorn Queen on the bottom of the deck, they paid attention. They went over what they need to say and how they're going to say it. They're coming in with something that's persuasive. Let's put it, or they feel like it's persuasive. Got a lot of masculine confidence here with this. And, ooh, they're standing up. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> yeah, getting on my soapbox. Tell me more about that seven of wands. We got a young emperor here. Ooh. And star card. Hope for the future. Mm-hmm. And they're brave enough to attempt it. Yes, they are with the Page of Swords up underneath. If things don't go, if, if I think they've got it, uh, the scenario all worked out in their head of how things are going to play out with you. And I think they really have the confidence of it until we get over here. And um, that Seven of Wands is standing up. That I'm standing up. You stood up. You cut me up last time. You knocked me down. Confident wise. Things like that. But this person is coming back hardcore. But I got a feeling they're getting ready to be knocked down again. Because we've got the young emperor here. <laughs> of standstill energy. Being going to be at a crossroad when it comes to the future. But they are determined guys. For some reason they seem very determined. To get some kind of commitment some kind of commitment with you and to also get you on into your emotions into your heart and out of your head with them so heads up they're coming in with something good <laughs> persuasive or at least they think it is um and you know they went over and over in their head the scenario and uh hopefully you know <laughs> it'll work out like they planned but I, i'm seriously doubting it I, I seriously doubt it. Nothing ever works out as planned. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
advice from your higher self, from the divine, when it comes to dealing with this energy this week. Fears, despite how dark things appear, light is breaking through. Be brave and find a way through it. Ooh, find a way through it. Any fears? Mm -hmm. What else? But the moon, the fact that we got the moon card on the fears, guys, it's bringing me back to, you're going to see something clear this week. Uh, we may have been in the dark, a little bit mystified, and a little bit not quite sure uh, about this person. Something about this person, something will be revealed. That moon's going to reveal something to you. You've also got spring energy this week. What you're asking for will become yours in spring. Rebirth, spiritual rejuvenation, love, and growth awaits. Now, a lot of times, guys, if we're looking for a time, you know, a certain time something's going to take place, or when can I expect it, that's a good card. I mean, any any season that comes out like that. But I always take it as that's the energy for your week. It's a springtime for you because something is coming to life. And like I said, you're going to see something clear. Something's going to be revealed to you that you you weren't you know you weren't too sure about so yeah something is definitely being revealed and then we got communications there's a message from the heart trying to be expressed be mindful of what you say and use discernment yeah like i said this person is coming in and and they're coming in with our, their heart out towards you or what appears to be authentic my heart i'm emotional and they're hoping that you will get in that emotion with them Bottom of the deck, we got self-love. Awaken the love within you. Attune your heart to love and your energy will connect to the flow of the universe. Oh, hmm. So something strange is going to happen this week for you with this person. And like I said, it's going to be, you're going to see something different. You, uh, they may, I mean, you may stop and consider okay so maybe i jumped the gun on all of my perception of them that kind of thing so yeah let's pull the uh romance angel oracles i haven't used this deck in a while thought i'd pull it out this week let's see the predominant energy predominant energy that is between aquarius and this person what's standing out we've got some chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so the person we are attracted to them but think uh chemistry is a hormonal physical kind of attraction mm -hmm. bottom of the deck unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relate this relationship going it yeah uh we may have yeah going deeper look think of it as physical attraction Ooh, you look good <laughs> friends would benefit i might consider it but going further than that from the bottom of the deck right now where we stand in this energy currently is like no we know it won't go go further than this chemistry the physicalness so but something may happen this week that would surprise you uh they may actually <laughs> get you into your heart yes let's do our hollywood romance stars let's see what else will come out anything for my aquarius when it comes to this connection this way pop past life there may be a past life connection or unfinished business with this person unfinished business anything else you would like aquarius to know got something on the bottom but i won't get that full shelf while we're getting two more very soon be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye it will be yours Ooh, be clear with yourself and security what is yours will always be yours this love is secured by the divine Ooh, something's going to shift this week with this person because like i said they're coming in with and they went over this scenario i really feel like they you know they played it out a hundred times in their head and hoping it's going to go exactly like they imagined it aquarius i hope that was helpful guys y'all stay blessed hi pisces welcome to your reading let's see who's coming towards you this week what energy are they bringing in <laughs> yes let's jump in guys first question i'm gonna ask is their perception of you mm -hmm. let's get this going with my pisces persons can we get that energy up in here please one more shuffle 
Make sure I got it. There it goes. Pisces person. When I say perception, guys, because I'm asking their perception of you, I am talking about their feelings and their thoughts and then the opinions that formulate around those feelings and thoughts. What is their perception of my Pisces? What's going on? You're making excuses. You need to quit it. <laughs> yes. Trying to defend trying to defend their wrongs not acknowledging their fault justifying behavior mm. i'm not sure y'all take anything any of that that resonates for you make sure you take it your you know your intuition over mine but from for some reason i feel like they they just see you as you're trying to make excuses to get out of something <laughs> i don't know let's keep going here grudges resentment from past unresolved past issues and bitter feelings with emotionally void acting cold and distance detached from true feelings uh, heart space blocked. Oh, what's that about, guys? Now, that's their perception of you guys. And like I said, I'm just feeling like you're making, um, they feel like you're making excuses just to get out of something or to avoid something because we, we're in an emotional void and we've got some heavy feelings we may not have shared with them. So, let's flip the energy now. Let's see your perception of them. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts, your feelings, and then the opinions that you have formulated around those thoughts and feelings. Perception of them. Anti-marriage, not ready to be loyal. Fear of failure and divorce, holding on to singlehood. So, ooh, what else is going on in your perception? You think they're lazy? Lack of effort or care. Unwilling to invest. Careless attitude. One more here. Oblivious. They oblivious. Ooh. No conscious knowledge or awareness. Poor memory. Clueless and ignorant. Ow. Guys. Are we pissed off at this person? <laughs> Ew. Uh, but that seems to be our perception. Our opinion, our thoughts, our feelings, you know, that, uh, or at least the current thoughts and feelings, perception of each other. I'm going to show you the bottom of the deck. I haven't looked at it yet. Don't look at it. Because I want to explain the bottom of the deck card is both of your energies. This is what you bring out or bring into uh, the connection with each other every time you engage in stuff. Uh huh. What's on the bottom? Gossip. Spread of rumors, no privacy. Talk around town. Mm -hmm. With the gossip card, guys, a lot of times that one is, it's not so much we're worried about what other people th say or think. It has us not talking to each other about issues in the connection, but we are running to our best friends, our family, you know, someone else, and, and soundboarding onto them w what we're going through. I mean, it's we're, we need to release some, you know, stress here, and we want to talk about it, but we're just not talking about it to each other, because that is both our energies. So it's not so much gossip as we're talking to everyone else but each other. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and pull the Gilded Tarot. I would like to find this person's desires towards you. But also, I'm open to if they want to share their desires of what they want from you. Uh -huh. Let's see what comes out. Desires towards my Pisces. Or the desires of what they want from my Pisces. We got a king of cups. They want some emotional maturity to go on here. <laughs> yes, and they really want you to quit being pissed off at them. Uh, a lot of times, especially Pisces, since they're holding you in your highest masculine energy here. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I need my space. I'm in my cave. You stay outside the door. It's a Scorpio energy. Scorpio withdraws and goes goes really deep away from someone when when they're bothered. Uh huh. But what else? We've got a uh, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Wow. And a Three of Wands, Six Cups. Hmm. For some of us, we actually may have children involved with that one coming out to, that we have to factor in to, you know, the connection. 
But right right now, the one thing is showing their desire of they wish you would take action because they right now they're holding you in present energy of you're sitting down, not taking any action. You're sitting solid. Ain't moving. <laughs> yeah. They really wish you'd get on your horse that you would get some fire going and come towards them so we could move past this, put the past in the past. Everything's will come up roses, but they're not seeing any evidence right now that you, you're actually going to stand up and get on the horse and actually come towards them, take any kind of action. But that's their desire. Uh, so th there's, they're giving us the desire of what they want from you. From you. I want you to take some action. <laughs> I want you to get on fire for me. Come after me. Sagittarius energy. Shoot me with your wand. <laughs> That kind of thing. I want to see their action. Any action from them this week. Is there any probability of them taking action? And what would it be? We got a death card. Whoa. Guys, really. Ten of Wands. There's a devotion and dedication. Uh, Six of Pentacles. They're hoping for charity here. Kindness. The kindness from your heart. Because I don't know what's going on, guys. But just from that, it's like they've done already done something that may have uh really caused something to die away between us mm -hmm. but they're not giving up uh -uh. they're going to go the distance trying to figure out things and they're emotionally overwhelmed uh with a seven of cups energy uh that's their brains run amok with them every they, they're creating all kinds of scary scenarios about the future so no wonder they're not taking action they're hoping you're going to be charitable and be the one that takes action and if they do have any kind of action towards you or try to talk to you they're going to hope you're going to be charitable and open to it mm -hmm. Ooh, come in on the death card let me pry a little bit here death card from your perspective what is that in telling that died away oh you're very cold right now and you're solid in it you're thinking they got you sitting down in in your head and your heart energy more so in your head energy uh when they throw throw that uh, aquarius king and you're moving really slow mm -hmm. virgo energy introspection and ow, you're not making any kind of hasty move you're sitting mm -hmm. You're sitting down, guys. You're sitting down. Something about the stability, the trust, stability. And it can be it can be anything, guys. It could be, you know, something tangible. They gambled and lost a lot of money. And you had your money was tied together and they lost your money too. It could be anything. But they know they've done something hardcore that that they're not sure they will ever be able to fix when they throw that death card out like that and they do have you like i said sitting down in your sit, sitting in your energy not taking action they want you to <laughs> they hope and desiring you will but but from their standpoint and all the cards that are coming out is you you ain't you ain't because this is you sitting down questioning what you feel this is you sitting down questioning what's logical and sitting down questioning what I, what do i feel safe with where's that because we got you slow moving being very practical analyzing every detail minute detail of everything before you take any kind of action you're not allowing yourself to take any kind of action just yet so mm. But like I said, if they do get brave enough to take action, because we do have them with that Ten of Wands, they're not giving up. With the Ten of Wands, you persist. You don't give up. You won't give up. For You know, you keep going with it. Mm -hmm. But um, just, just a heads up, so you'll know, uh, they w do hope you will be open to them if they do take any kind of action. But it's more so of them hoping you're going to take action towards them. Get advice for you from your higher self, from the divine, from your guides, anything, Pisces, I'm feeling that one. Ooh, fertility. This is the perfect time to start new projects, fall in love, change jobs, and give birth to a new abundant life. Ooh, ooh, that may be your sit-down energy over here of you're starting to shift away from relationship kind of thing and thinking more about stability. 
career, job, things like that. What can I do? What can I create? That kind of thing. Hmm. I could go anywhere here with that one. Let's see what else. Uh, so it is a good time. Whatever's occurred is put you in that mindset. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness. Let go of resentment. And forgive yourself and others so you can restore peace in your heart and love again. Forgiveness. Chakras. Your chakras are out of balance. Align your internal energies to help release physical and emotional blockages. Uh, most time, if your chakras are out of alignment, guys, and I know some people say it's woo-woo, but seriously, where are you hurting? Where? Pay attention. Sit down and pay attention. Where's the tension? Or what point are you feeling any kind of physical? Um, discomfort, put it that way, and you'll know which chakra is is off balance there, not not flowing right. Mm -hmm. What else is coming out? You got boundaries. Start building and preserving better boundaries in order to protect your emotional and mental space. Emotional and mental space. Mm. Let's pull our romance angel oracles. What am I looking for here? This it's behind me. Let me get them up here, guys. Hopefully, I'm not going to drop them. Because it brought the chakras out, guys, a lot of times you can get these little bracelets here that have your chakras aligned. And they actually do help to get the energies flowing right. Especially if you can wear, if you get two, I always have to. Uh, if I'm going to line them, I'm going to wear them on both wrists. But for some reason, I felt... I need to just share that with you. It actually does help. But like I said, you want to be in the awareness of where are you feeling the discomfort in your body. So you can pinpoint exactly what's going on with that chakra. Let's go ahead and use our Romance Angel. Yeah, Romance Angel Oracles. I haven't used this deck in a while, but I want to see your predominant energies going on in the connection. We got one here. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path. We may not be in alignment with each other when it comes to faith, that kind of thing. Or we, uh, sometimes the card will come out if there's just some kind of difference between us. Uh, um, could be anything. We're just, un, you know, an unusual couple, unusual match. And we also got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck. There's concerns about codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Be more of the codependency. Um, that's the undercurrent energy. So uh, either on your side or their their side or both of you. I do have some concerns of I don't want to have to need this person. <laughs> yes. Let's do our um, Hollywood super. No, Hollywood romance stars. I'm sorry, guys. Superstars. I wish I did have that one. <laughs> yes. See what will come out. What's best for my Pisces when it comes to this connection? Anything that would be of help to Pisces, please. We've got attraction. Your captivating energy makes you attractive. You wear confidence well. Ooh, somebody very attracted to you, but we've got disharmony. There seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues to restore harmony in this relationship. One more on the bottom. We've got safe place is what we really need to be with each other. There's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love. That we got each other's back. I love that. Pisces, I hope it was helpful, guys. Y'all stay blessed.